have XRD data where X axis is 2 theta and the Y axis is count. In this video, I will demonstrate how to find out the peak position. Go and click on the gadgets. In the gadgets, you can find third option that is a quick peaks. Click over here. Then a new window will pop up. In this case, you can go to the option find peak. The first option in the find peak is a direction. So here we have to choose a positive direction. That means the peaks which are located in positive side of the Y axis. Then there is a peak finding setting. So method is a local maximum. If you click over here, you will see there are few more options. So choose a local maximum, which is default one. Then there is a local points. Again, the number is default, keep it as five. Then we go to the peak filter. In the peak filter, you will see method. So there are by height or by number or none. So I'll be choosing by height and threshold height. So I keep it as auto. Then is a peak display. It will be displayed in the red color with a size of 10. And the peak label will be X of peak. What is X over here is a true theta. And then I want it to be shown in a horizontal format. Click on OK. Now here you can see a yellow color window. And with the window, within window, we can see there are total four peaks which has been identified. If you select this window, you will see there is a dot over here. This dot can be moved on the right and left. For example, if you move toward left and if it cover only two peaks, then it will only show the values for the two peaks. If you again click on this one and drag it to the right, it will show four additional peaks. Now why it's not showing other remaining peak? So to know that one, double click on this yellow highlighted area. In this case, now we have to tune this threshold height such that all peaks will be identified automatically. So how to do that? Unclick this auto button and reduce the threshold height to say 10 and then click on apply. Once we do this one, we can see the few more peaks has been identified. Do it again and reduce this threshold height to say 5 and click on apply. Now here we'll see all the peaks has been identified but there are few more peaks which has been identified by auto mode but these are not actual peaks. So how to remove this one? Go back to threshold and tune it to, to 7 and let's see. Okay, so now we can see all peak within this highlighted yellow area or in this spectra has been identified. So click on OK. I hope through this video you have learned how to identify the peak center. If you like it, do share and subscribe. And also don't forget to press the bell icon button. Thank you for watching.